Hi everybody, Tim over here, World Without Rule of Law. And today, tonight, I am on the road. I've got the ghetto camper slash bug out trailer with me. And uh, I'm in an undisclosed location. Now, what happens is, you know, going back to Connecticut for the week, it's a 10 hour ride. So because of hardware issues I have with my back and different issues I've had throughout the years, I've made the ride before in one sitting. But I need like a complete day to recover because my back just stiffens up and locks up when I try to sit that long in the car. And so what happens is the whole next day I end up spending laying on the floor relaxing my back and stretching and, and so it becomes you know quite an ordeal. Now I can do it if I have to and I, I have done it before but I prefer not to. Now, this weekend not only am I going to Connecticut I'm diverting to um, Diggers from Diggers Outdoors is having a meetup and that's in western Pennsylvania and so I apologize for the lighting it's getting dark here I try to shoot this before it gets dark but uh so in any case if I was to go from my home to there it's about seven or eight hours and then from there to Connecticut is another seven or eight hours and so um you know it's just too long of a ride and not and, and not only that but um the logistics are right like the meetup starts at noon I'd have to leave at like three four in the morning and then uh same thing like it ends at dusk like this time tomorrow and then I'd have to go another you know eight hours seven and a half eight hours to Connecticut so I wouldn't get there till three in the morning or whatever so it's just it was better to break it up so um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I want to talk about mon last Monday night when I did the uh, live stream with uh, Finger Lakes Prepper on Prepper X channel. Uh, we talked about faith-based community, and so that's important to me, right? Like that's how I live my life, and so that's how I want everything to be based. You know, whether it be prepping. Uh, homesteading, just everyday life. I, I want it to be faith-based. And so uh, I belong to a Baptist church in Connecticut and I transferred my membership, my wife and I did, when we moved to Virginia. So we belong to a Baptist church down there. So I got online and I started mapping it out, the roots, and I reached out to a bunch of Baptist churches and I had a couple responses. A couple people never got back to me, that's fine. You know, everybody's in a different spot, or whatever. But um, I had these this, these people here where I am now. You know, were super gracious, and they're like, "Sure, come on in." You know, I said I don't need anything. I got the trailer; it's self-contained. Um, I said if you had an outlet that I could plug into, that's a plus. But I certainly don't need it. I don't want to make any demands. And I also said that you know I have. I'm not looking for nothing for nothing. I'm willing to you know, do some service or labor, like in other words, I got here at 7 tonight, I could have got here at noon and mowed the lawn, if that's what they wanted me to do. I was willing to, you know, give something to the church. And so, they said, you know, no, that's not necessary, uh, just, you know, we want to just be a blessing to you, just come on in, uh, park your rig here, this is where the outlets are, he told me the whole thing, the pastor, was a great guy, you know, I got to talk to him, so hopefully I'll get a chance to meet you. I got in a little later than I thought. I'm going to be leaving early tomorrow to get to Diggers. I don't think I'm going to meet the pastor unless he comes super early in the morning or comes by sometime tonight, which I don't anticipate. So, and then I have another one lined up for tomorrow, similar situation. So, you know, that's just part of that faith-based life, right? Like. You know, when people get saved, like in our church, visitors or wherever, I always say, you know, I shake their hand at the end, I say, welcome to the family of God. And that's truly what it is. It's a family. And I've never met the pastor of this church. And it's, you know, 300 miles almost from where I live. And I reached out to him, and he was more than receptive. You know, I mean, really, really great guy. And so... 
I'm building this network, right? I got another one tomorrow on the other end going back to Connecticut. And then I got a third one for the way back. So, um, you know, it just, it just touches my heart because these people went above and beyond to accommodate me. They don't know me. I don't know them. But there's that community, and it is faith-based. It's based on our mutual love for the Lord and, you know, being part of the same family. You know, we, it, I can't stress that enough. I think it's important to have a group. It's important to have a community. We all know that. We talk about that. And so this is just another way that that looks, that that community can look, another way that it can manifest itself. Um, and so, you know, I'm hoping that at some point I'm going to get to meet all these people. I might actually contact this pastor again and try to stay here on the way back because I really would like to meet him. He's a great guy. And, you know, God leads you to places for a certain reason. And it's odd because he's, they didn't mention it to me at all, but I see that they're building an addition here. And I look inside and it's all framed out. It's ready to be wired now. A lot of you know I had my electrical contractor's license for many years and I'm forcing a retirement. I can only work a few hours a day, but, you know, maybe I could help them with that. It would be a blessing to them. And so maybe that's why all the doors were open for me to get here. You know, I don't know that. That's a stretch. I'm reaching on that one. But, like, it's possible, and I consider that possibility because when I email this guy to thank him for letting me stay here, and ask them about possibly coming next week. I'm just going to throw that out there and say, hey, I see you guys are doing some work. Just want you to know that, you know, if I can be of help, whatever, just see where it goes. But um, God, that's the way God works. You know, He works in those ways. And so I could build a real good contact here, and it's halfway almost sort of kind of between Connecticut and my home in Virginia. It's a little bit before halfway but it's doable and with my back condition as I travel back and forth to Connecticut this could be a nice place for me to stay and of course if that develops and if I can work that out I don't want that to be one-sided I don't want it to be you know me just staying here you know what I mean I, I want to give something back to these people in this church in this pastor and that's mutual mutual like mutual assistance right it's mutual um, I don't want to be in a situation where I just come here three, four times a year on my way through to Connecticut and stay here and plug in and use their electricity and drive away. And um, yeah, I mean, I could throw them a few dollars, whatever, but like, I want to give something back to them. And and maybe that's the way I could do it. But in any way, I just wanted to touch base. Uh, it's getting dark. I'm going to wrap it up, but I'll make another one tomorrow night at my way station tomorrow. Tomorrow is the diggers meetup again. If any of you aren't familiar with Diggers, Diggers Outdoors, go over there, check out his channel, give him a like, a subscribe. He's a great guy. He does a lot of outdoor stuff, mountain biking. Um, he was hunting for furnaces, old iron furnaces the other day, visiting sites of iron furnaces in Pennsylvania. And he's just a, he's a humble guy, great guy. And uh, any support you can give to his channel, you know, Go watch a few of his videos, like his videos, subscribe to his channel. Um, he's a great guy. Tomorrow at the meetup, I'm probably not going to film unless I'm specifically asked to. Um, it's Digger's gig. He, you know, put a lot of work and a lot of preparation into it. I don't want to, you know, come in and not, there's anything really wrong with that. But I'm not going to break out my camera at all there. If there's any chronicling to be done of that or whatever, that's up to him to do that. If he wants me to, I, I'll help him, but like, he certainly doesn't need my help. And, um, and then, you know, some of the guys, some of the people that are going to be there, a lot of times choose not to be on camera, and that absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, we're all in different places in our, in our lives, right? We're all, you know, some of us are married, some of us are divorced, some of us are divorced and remarried, some of us have grown kids, some of us have kids in school. Some of us have sensitive jobs. Some of us have, you know, there's all different factors that go into each person's um, existence. You know, so just because I don't have a problem showing myself on camera doesn't mean it's right for everybody. And so we have to respect that. 
what people decide and wish to do in respect to that. There's reasons behind everything and we may not even know what those reasons are and it's none of my business or none of anybody's business anyway. And so because I know that there are at least three, three or four individuals there that usually choose not to be on camera, that's another reason why I would never break the camera out. We haven't discussed it and um, we'll just see where it goes. But uh, again, go over, check out Diggers. And uh, I'm sure he's probably going to have something on the meetup at some point on YouTube. And uh, I'm going to touch base tomorrow night. Hopefully I'll get to my location tomorrow night. It's going to be really late. But Sunday morning I'm going to attend service at that church. So maybe I can do something then after that. And I'll touch base. And certainly throughout this week as I'm in Connecticut, I'm going to um, kind of go over what I'm doing up there and with our church and revival and be a great time so there should be some content coming from me hopefully this week and hopefully you'll all come back and give it a check out check it all out thanks appreciate it love you god bless you